of the places I'm talking about today is through the Planetize Guidebook app where you can book tours exactly like the one I'm on today. So click the link below to either plan your trip, learn about Japan, or book a tour today. On our way to our next destination, we stop by a stretch of land facing the Sea of Japan. This place is called Senjojiki, or a thousand tatami. Hey guys, good morning. So this is the fourth day of our trip and um, we came across Senjoshiki. The meaning is a thousand tatami. The rocks are supposed to represent tatami. So if you look over here, it's really pretty here. This is like actual ocean. This rocky coast is actually due to an earthquake that happened in 1792. There was a time when the lord of this land laid out a thousand tatami mats for a party that stretched for miles. Senjojiki Coast is named one of the top 100 spots for a perfect sunset viewing experience. Our next destination was surprising. I've been to plenty of onsens, but not like this one. Furofushi Onsen is only 600 yen to enter, and you can enjoy a hot bath in reddish brown seawater. It may be strange, but it's actually good for your skin. The color comes from the iron that comes up from the beach. There's a spot for both women and men, as well as an indoor hot spring where you can relax and even stay the night. Not only that, but the view of the coastline is incredible. Literally becoming one with the earth puts this on my top 10 hot springs to visit in Japan. So we're at, uh, it's not a lake, it's a pond. So uh, Aoike is a pond. <laughs> and Aoi means blue and Ike means uh, pond. So we're gonna go see one of the bluest ponds that you can see. And um, I guess it's like the freshest water in Japan. So they usually like make matcha with it. And you can drink some matcha with the, the clean, fresh uh, water. It's the best water, so I'm excited to try it. The Tsugaru Quasi National Park Lake Juniko, meaning 12 lakes, is the ultimate hiking destination that houses 33 ultra blue lakes. Lake Aoke looks as if it were artificially colored, but don't be fooled, it's not. It's natural, but the reason for its blue color remains unknown, which makes this lake look like it came right out of a fairy tale. Okay, so we're at Aoke, Aoke Pond. It's really, really blue but they don't know the reason why, so that's interesting. But fish live in it, so it's fresh water. That's amazing. There are a couple theories to why this pond is so blue. One being the white sand below the water absorbs the red and green colors and not the blue. And the second being it has a super clean and natural filter. We may never know the reason why. I checked my Planetize guidebook to find out more about this place and all it has to offer. Everything I've talked about thus far is on this app. The guidebook is a great tool to plan your next trip to Japan. If you're huge on hiking, camping, or mountain climbing, this is the destination for you. You can only see 12 of these lakes once you reach the top of Mount Okuzure, and the view is supposedly incredible. We only saw a couple on this day, otherwise it would have taken a few hours, but what we did see was the bluest ponds and lakes ever discovered. We're at a uh, restaurant where you can drink fresh matcha, and uh, the matcha is made with this water, 
and Japan took the 10 best waters in Japan and mixed them together. And this is what it creates. So we came across a sort of tea house type place where you can get free matcha. And I love matcha, so I'm really excited that it's free. So I'm gonna try it today, and you can also see a beautiful view of the lakes and the trees and nature, and it's gorgeous here, so uh, please come and enjoy. Ah, that tastes so good. So matcha's like a powder, and you mix it with the clean, fresh water that they have here. It's really, really good. <laughs> and you also get sweets with it. So it looks like this, it's really small. So I'm gonna try this too. Mmm, it's soft. It kinda has like a sugar texture. But it's sweet. Mmm, that's really good. After enjoying some nice fresh tea, you can write in their notebook and leave a nice message about the place and the tea you've experienced drinking. You can definitely fill up your water bottles with the fresh water that's here. It's super clean and the tastiest water I've ever had. I have lunch right now and I'm at Akashobi, which is famous for its uh, tuna steak. So tuna is very popular here in this area and it comes with a big set. So I'm really excited. It comes with vegetables and a dessert and rice. Yummy. This is the best and only tuna steak I've ever had. This particular place is famous for their tuna steak. 130,000 people ate this tuna steak lunch set in the past three years. I would definitely come back here again, and I definitely recommend it. There is a particular way to eat this set. The top skewer of the tuna is paired with this sauce. The bottom skewer is paired with this red sauce. And the tuna on the plate is paired with the first sauce. So katsuobushi rice, and we have egg rice, and we have um, potato. You can check out the Aomori Apple Gift Shop right next door to the restaurant. Our next destinations were going to be the final destinations. So stay tuned for day five of our Awamori trip. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and download the Planetized Guidebook for more information and book tours for these places today. Also, from now on, I'll be doing live shows on the Livestar app every Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday mornings here in Japan. It's free, so search Liz Kelly and chat with me about anything you'd like. I'm thinking it's going to be at 9 a.m. Japan time, so please check that out. Also, follow me on all my social media platforms for any announcements or updates. I launched my blog slash website, strawberriesarelife.com, so check out extras and information that didn't make it to this video. All this and more is linked below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.